eyes of Oklahoma and the college football world are on Memorial Stadium in Norman for our contest today. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. SMU is getting fired up down there as they get ready to boot this opening kickoff. It's fielded at the two. He's tackled at the 26. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. on the draw and they make the stop around the 38 yard line super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down he's really a good looking ball carrier and down he goes around the 41 yard line that's a gain of three on the play that'll make it second to seven and they get nice yardage on that run. That's a good boy gain of four yards. That makes it third and three. Green nine, green nine. Four and Got time, and now he might want to take off. Well, the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack, and somehow he's able to throw the ball away. Makes it to the 22-yard line. SMU's offense, a lot of times they can spread things out and they can really be versatile offensively, but when you've got a wide receiver like this, it really helps it go. It does, and it, and it continues to help with what they're trying to do. They're trying to find matchups, and when you have one player like this that the defense has got to be aware of, they're going to spread you out, try to find the one-on-one -on -one matchup, and if you spend too much time with this one player, they've got some other weapons to make you pay for it. Excellent job by this young quarterback of making the defense pay for bringing both outside linebackers. That's composure right there. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. And he throws it away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Steps up. He lets it fly. Gets it. He's in space. He's tackled around the 14-yard line. The receiver found a hole in the zone and turned it into a first down. No matter what type of defensive coverage you have, there are always going to be holes. The best thing you can do is make those holes small so the quarterback can't get the ball in there. Now it's first and ten with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. Tackle at the five-yard line. That brings up second and one. Larry, Larry. Hey, Mike, 20, Mike, 20. 20. Finds a man. Touchdown. Splits the uprights with the extra point. It was a five-play, 78-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. You know, when you can throw the football, you guys can. You don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient at throwing the ball. He's to the 20. Oh, man, did he take a hit. 
The Mustangs are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receivers. From their own 22-yard line, second down. Balls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. Carries the ball for a nice game. And he's taken down at about the 43 yard line. He had nowhere to go on that option play. Boy, you're right. He's lucky he held on to the football there. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. He's taken down around the 18-yard line. to about the 17-yard line. That's good for a game one yard. That brings up second. Second and nine. Ball on the 17-yard line. down at about the nine yard line i think the play call was the right one by the offense i just think the defense made a better play they seem to want it more here on this big third down offense comes up a little bit short to set up a fourth down to give all the credit to the personnel on the defensive side of the ball nice run there gotta be careful of a pass play with this defense made just outside the goal line. That's good for a of three yards. That brings us this is the 12th goal. play of this drive. Comes in at My five. My five. Dog four. Go. Touchdown Sooners. time to use the fullback there. I've always liked when teams mix it up and give the fullback the ball in goal line situations. If the big bruiser can't get you a couple of yards, you don't deserve to get in. And he adds the extra point. A 12 play, 78 yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. The Sooners quarterback, we saw him taken out earlier down there on the sideline after being injured. I don't think he's in that much pain right now, though, and I would bet that he'll be back in the game before the day is done. He's to the 20, at the 30. Knocked out of bounds at the 41. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. He 
He's in trouble. Going deep. And he's immediately tackled. Number two makes the sack. First down. So the big gain resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and ten. He's out of bounds at the 16. That brings him second and five. Larry, Larry, Larry. Hey, Mike, so at the end of one, we're even at seven in this one. We can only hope the second quarter is as good as the first. Tight ball game, folks. Throws this one away. From the 16-yard line, it's third down. This crowd can really be intimidating for an opposing team. And he just gets rid of it. SMU is looking to go up by three. Kicks away, and they tack on three points. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. He's to the 20, and down he goes at the 23-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Wants to go long and does. Big catch there as they knock him out of bounds. Scrambling. Got some open field. No one open, so he's going to run. They'll bring him down at the 37. That's a team six and five. That'll make it second and four. Mike three, Mike black. Kill, kill. Black five. Panther two, three. And he hits him hard at the 31-yard line. So they get it out there for about six yards, and that's a first down. Now, this is a good job by the wide receiver of making sure he was beyond the first down marker and then hanging on to that pass. Quick throw. That's a great tackle at the 29-yard line. Brought down, nothing doing. Makes the reception. That's a gain of two. Mike three, Mike three. That'll bring up third and six. No, kill him. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. False start. Offense. They'll line up for another third down play because of the penalty. Well, here you're in a third down situation, and then someone makes a mental mistake. It makes your blood boil if you're a coach. Third down, and they need to get it to the 21. Completes another one. And they push him out at about the seven-yard line. Strike to his receiver, no good. Number three, the intended receiver. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Of second and goal. Roger, Roger. Mike five, Mike five. I got you, pup. And he is drilled at the one yard line. 
Nothing flashy at all. But now, that first down marker is a lot closer. Tacks on the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. The offense going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five-wide set. And the defense counters with their dime look. Fires out quickly, incomplete. The ball just sailed on him, and he knows it. He'll get it next time. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He gets hit out of bounds at the 29. That's a game these fans are showing you why teams hate to come here, folks. He's at the 40. Tries to fit it in there, and it'll be intercepted. And they make the stop around the 37-yard line. He has to make better decisions than that. He should have known that there was no room to squeeze that ball in there. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. Oklahoma holds a four-point lead. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Gets it out to the wide out, and he's got the first. And down he goes at the 20-yard line. This is why it's so important to have success in running the football. It forces a defense to prepare for it, and then that creates chances on play action. They executed that one perfectly. And that sets them up for the first and goal. He scrambled, and they got him. A defensive end with this kind of speed is an offense's worst nightmare. He's got the ability to collapse the pocket on any given pass play. And as a play caller, you constantly have to be aware of it. Whether you're going to roll away from him or you're going to chip with a tight end or a running back, you're constantly concerned and aware of a big, strong defensive end. It's second and goal. Ball on the 15-yard line. Steps out of bounds around the 11 yard line. Throws it in a hurry. He's tackled at the 10 yard line. It's fourth down. They're going to go for the easy three here. Oklahoma is up four. He gets it up, and it sails through the uprights. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. The Mustangs struggling trying to get their star wide receiver in this game, and sometimes 
You know, Herbie, it's almost like uh, a jump shooter in basketball. Get him to the free throw line, get him one free one from 15 feet and see how he can do. they got to get the ball in his hand somehow. I agree with you 100%. I mean, it's just a matter of just one play, one touch to get this guy going because he has that kind of ability. And up to this point, they've not been able to find a way to get him the ball. Give credit, to, a lot of credit to this defense for coming in with a good plan. But now it's up to the offense to make their own adjustments to kind of counter that attack by this defense to be able to get the, the ball into the hands of their go-to guy. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. Hey, Mike 20, Mike 20. <laughs> Zips it to the back, and they'll bring him down behind the line. That'll be a two-yard loss. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. Quick throw, almost intercepted. This is a very well-coached defense. They know to get their hands up in the air and to try to knock down passes. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 40. Really a tough spot for an offense to be in against this crowd in this stadium. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. Yeah, any time a quarterback makes a throw like this, the best thing a wide receiver can do is come over to the quarterback and pat him on the back and tell him to shake it off and let's make the next play a better play. The worst thing you can do is put your arms up in the air as if you're blaming the quarterback. Come over, tell him it's all right, and you move on. Touchback. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Oklahoma is up a score. Number 17, the intended play. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 20. Quick out to his receiver. Tackle around the 28-yard line. That'll bring up third and two. Let's go, D. Zero, zero, Mike, three. Black five, black five. Three and eight. run to the outside so at the end of the half the Sooners lead 17 10 hi everybody glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA football 14 halftime show presented by Nissan innovation that excites Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. This game's been everything we anticipated it being, each team matching each other blow for blow, just a one possession game at this point. What do you expect to change things in the second half? Well, it's always it's always fun to watch two teams and two games match up the height. And we, we talk about it all week and how big this game is. And it's going to come down to players making plays. And, you know, the, the big play is something that we continue to beat into the ground. And which one doesn't give that up? A lot of times, you know, games are lost and won by turnovers and, and giving it away and making that crucial mistake. You can do everything right and you can execute right, but it just takes that one misstep, that one turnover to, to really put you in a bad position or a bad situation that can determine this game. That's what it looks like it's going to. Both teams executing well. Who's going to make a big mistake? That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half while the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Oklahoma's the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. 
Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Catches it, and that's all. Everything about that play was crisp. The route, the throw, the catch, that's fun to see. I don't know if they'll be able to hear his cadence in the midst of all this mayhem. And he's taken down at the 40-yard line. That makes it first and 10. out to his receiver. He's taken down right around the 50. Number 22 with the tackle. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 50. Hey, Mike 20, Mike 20. There's a strike complete. These short, effective passes are going to help the quarterback's confidence. That brings him second and five. First down grab by the receiver. Brought down around the 34-yard line. That's a game of 11 on the play. It's first and 10. Ball on the 34-yard line. Complete and he's hit hard. Another catch, and he's up to 100 yards now. You gotta love this quarterback receiver combo. Talking to these guys before the game, they told me they spend about an hour after every perfecting the routes. It sure shows. Quick throw incomplete. One of his receiver. Third down, and they need to get it to the 24. about that kick. Oh, no question. This kid is just a solid kicker. 17-13, Oklahoma. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They're set to go for another round. My five, my five, my five. Oklahoma is up by four. He's tackled right around the 40. He's going to air it long. Can't connect. This quarterback needs to be careful not to use his arm strength to try to force things because that's when mistakes happen. From their own 40-yard line, second down. Five guys will be out the pattern as they're in the shotgun. He's at midfield. Tackle made at about the 43-yard line. They come out in an empty backfield. Goes out of bounds at about the 39 yard line. That makes it second and six. He steps out around the 36 yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. Hey, kill, kill, kill! Four, five, five, five. He 
He's out of bounds at the 34. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Brought down in the open field. Oklahoma holds a four point lead. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Larry, Larry, Larry. Mike five, Mike five. Hey, watch the slip. Watch the slip. Go! Steps up. They'll make the sack. Down he goes again. Well, if they keep putting pressure on him like this, he might start to look to get rid of the ball quicker, which could very possibly lead to turnovers. To the sack, it's now fourth and long. Kicks away. No good. He missed it to the right. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Quick throw out to the receiver. They'll bring him down around the 46-yard line. That's a gain of nine on the play. That brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. it out to his receiver in a hurry. A nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. And he hits him hard at the 46. So the sack makes this a second and long. Hey, Mike 20, Mike 20. Wide open receiver, and it's incomplete. One of the top stadiums in the nation. This crowd comes to play themselves. to go long and does. They couldn't pick up the first down, so they'll have to punt this one away. It's a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. Gets it away. Wait a minute, he's going to throw. Fires it out, and he's taken down at the 48-yard line. That's three down and one to go. The Sooners lead it by four. in this very pivotal fourth quarter. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Oklahoma is up four. Number 17 was the intended receiver on the way. 
So it's second and ten. Ball on the 48. Fires out to his wideout, and they make the stop at the 43. Gets it to his wide receiver, and he's got another one. And down he goes at about the 35. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. Slings it out there incomplete. Number 81. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 25. Again, he'll get the call. Nice run there. So the draw to the halfback picks up four. That'll bring up fourth and five. It's up, and it hits the upright. No good. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five-receiver look. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. He's tackled around the 39-yard line. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Fires to the wideout, first down. Tackle at midfield. First down. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And he's taken down at the 44. Number 14 makes the tackle at the 44-yard line. They're about four yards away here on second down. Less than three minutes in the game. He's tackled in the open field. Number 40 on the tackle at the 36-yard line. First down. He's at the 20, the 10. He's pushed out of bounds at the 6. That's a gain of 30 on the play. That makes it first and goal. So here we go. First and goal, and a field goal won't cut it. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. The way the safety was playing up toward the line of scrimmage shows you what they think of the offense's passing game. Not a lot of respect for it. third and goal from the two and they can take the lead the crowd of this stadium always a factor in a football game the cavalry's coming boy was he drilled as he let go of that football yeah he's gonna feel that one tomorrow
Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. He's taken down just outside the goal line. And that was a big stop defensively. Yeah, they only needed a few yards here to keep the drive alive. Great job by the defense to shut him down. You really can't say enough about this defense. Fourth and short, and they really showed up. Tackled after positive yardage. Seven yards there on the option pitch to the halfback. So it's second down and about two yards to go. They'll go ground. Tackled outside after a nice pickup. Huge first down right there by the offense, Brad. At this point, they're just trying to work the clock and preserve the victory. He's level at the 24-yard line. Fred, that's a huge first down for this offense. At this point, the defense's only hope is they've got to try to rip that ball away from the quarterback or the running back to get the football back to their offense because the clock now is a big time. Tackled after a decent pickup. That makes it second and six. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 28. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. I'm sure are secure in the knowledge that despite this setback today, they still have one of the best players in the country. Well, this is a devastating loss, but it's one that they're going to have to put behind them. And, and as you said, they still have one of the best players in the country. They don't need to deviate their plan. Get back to really what they know, and that's getting the ball to their star player. And next week, I'm sure they'll be fine. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.